I don't know if Asian Americans are the reason why uh, Hollywood is kind of shifting gears on that. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's China. Of course. You all know who the gatekeepers are in Hollywood. I mean, slowly it's changing. I've seen like, pe new uh, people of color taking chairs and new seats, positions, which is great. Um, and they're the one who probably get it. It's like, I want to tell a story about my dad and my mom or my brother. And they'll be like, I get this. Where you get like a white person like, oh, I don't get this. Oh, let's let's bring a Chinatown again. I'm like, <laughs> it's always like that. So do you think it's more relegated to Asians being viewed as not being bankable? It was nominated for everything except it, there was not one nomination that recognized the individual talent of the actor. Lucky Boys Podcast. Just how do you feel about Asian Americans and and in Hollywood when it comes to number one portraying or just the films. Okay. Uh, Cause you say, if you say media, it's like lately, not good. Hmm. You know, it's like 50, 50 with the whole hate crime going up. But hmm. if you say Hollywood, I think, Hollywood. Yeah. I think, um, pertaining filmmaking. Yeah. It's slowly getting there. I mean, I think, um, after crazy rich Asian, um, that's when Hollywood started to notice that we were bankable. We were, we had talent out there. It's, get, it's getting this slowly. Is it strong? I, I still think there's a lot of work to be, to be done. Because there are still, like for example, like Law & Order, you always gotta get that one episode of Chinatown every season. And it's always stereotypical, dude. You know, and, or even, not just Law & Order, but any other show, always that one Chinatown episode. <laughs> and what, 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 what's that stereotypical one Chinatown episode for, for the, those of uh, that aren't Asian? They, they dress mm -hmm. up Chinatown like very Oriental. And I, when I use Oriental, it's like, the red lanterns and stuff like hardcore things. by the way they lay it all yeah man over. i mean it's nothing like that at all, right. all. i saw a, a snippet of gotham where they made it look like it was from like 1940 china i'm like what what yeah. so um there's that and also it's always the gang story the uh smuggling immigrant story prostitution it's nothing very organic like oh uh my kid just got murdered right you know right. or or like like now my kid was in a hate crime and he he or she got burned or shot. It's nothing about. It's always about within China community. Oh, um, yeah, the gangster extort me, and my dad died because he didn't pay the the monthly fee or something. It's just always the same story over and over again. You know. Yeah, I think there's a lot of room for many more different stories <laughs> yeah, out yeah. of our community. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I think it's important for us to come out there and 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 tell stories our way because we're coming at it from a totally different perspective, right? Mm -hmm. And I didn't know this until we made this film, I feel, you know, and being part of the community and being like, oh, wait, we're actually, we actually do have a different perspective, you know, just the way we shot the films, our influences, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it, it, it just comes out differently. And I think it's important for us to keep telling stories our way and, and no one's going to come and give us these opportunities. So, yeah, yeah. You know, because we all know who the gatekeepers are in Hollywood. I mean, slowly it's changing. I've seen like, pe new uh, people of color taking chairs and new seats, positions, which is great. Um, and they're the one who probably get it. It's like, I want to tell a story about my dad and my mom or my brother. And they'll be like, I get this. Where you get like a white person like, oh, I don't get this. Oh, let's, let's bring a Chinatown again. I'm like, <laughs> it's always like that. So do you think it's more relegated to Asians being viewed as not being bankable? Or... Where, like, financially, as an investor, the investors uh, investing in the movies, because you know it takes a lot of um, capital at times mm -hmm. to have these films, and or if the studios are investing in it, and they want to make sure that they get their uh, return on investment on it. Or do you think it just comes from just lazy thinking? Or is, or is it something else? Both. <laughs> both. It's both, but I think it leans towards the green. Right. It's all about the money, man, because money talks. doesn't matter. You know, like, look at Tyler Perry. He's busting out TV shows, web series, all that because he has content, a community, but it makes money. Like, I'm not, I'm not a religious person, but every movie talks about God. You're like, mm -hmm. hey, you know why he or she cheated on you? Why? Because you didn't believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's always Perry like movies. that. I mean, it's not my thing, but he has, a, he has an audience, and those audiences are willing to pay for it. Right. And I think our audience is willing to pay for that. That's why we're so lucky to have uh, Gold House. You know, they're willing to bust out the money on themselves. Like, I don't know who's, like, they got co-sponsors from uh, individuals, uh, organizations, but they're buying the movie theaters out to help the community and show 
hey Hollywood, the numbers need to change, and this is what happens if you allow us our stories to be told. Right, know? they're they're putting their foot forward and they're yeah, showing yeah, like, hey, you know what? Check this out. Yeah, uh, I think they did that for what uh, Crazy Rich Asians, uh, Parasite, Parasite. Parasite, Parasite was amazing. Oh, dude, yeah, amazing film. Oh my gosh, so. Uh, who said this but I, I thought I read this somewhere and I was like you know what that I think it was Taima that said this uh, in a recent variety interview mm-hmm. and he said something along the lines about Asians in Hollywood and how can how can uh, Parasite have all of these uh, nominations for I know you're amazing getting film yeah. and it's beautiful cinematography all, all had every single it was nominated for everything except it, there was not one nomination that recognized the individual talent of the actors exactly and i think that's changing now like recently hollywood i mean oscars they're changing their criteria now so i think they're they're they're, they're, they're seeing on social media and people's uh, cries for that yeah I, I absolutely agree and stuff you know but it's also the green like why didn't it get nominated because well they got these famous celebrities that if they get nominated or to get the Oscar, then the next project they do, we can get the money and pump it out. You know, it's all about. So there's know, a lot of politics that it's, it's a business. That play it's still a business. It. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's still right? a business, man. And we're learning that honestly. I, I think uh, once the father son gets into the circuit, uh, I, I want to take notes. I want to talk to the right people and just listen. You know, and just like take notes and it's like, oh, okay. And I'm willing to share my knowledge and my, you know, like and what I experienced to other inspiring filmmakers. Now, are, are you looking to just keep it as a short or if there's an opportunity to expand on that into a feature, would you do that? Well, I, I think Henry said it in his last podcast was that um, my agenda was because I know at the time we are not in, like behind the camera and also the writer, we're not known in the in the public, you know, like who's Patrick Chan? Like, you know, like who, who's gonna give me X amount of dollars to do a feature? So I was like, hey, let's do a short film. Um, like a side story, kind of like a one shot deal, and see where it takes, like a proof of concept. If Whiplash could do it, then maybe we could do it. And I told that to Henry and say, like, hey, let's do that. Cost efficient, it won't go as crazy. And also, um, maybe we'll try to do a TV show because things right now, everything's a TV series. Right. You know, right. And if you read Henry's books, there's no way you can squeeze that into a two hour feature. There's a lot of characters in there. A lot of, yeah, lot there's of no way to do there. it. I mean, you really have to take out a lot yeah. to make that adaptation come true. I mean, yeah, yeah, and it could cheapen the story. Or a three-hour movie, whichever, <laughs> with the multiple sequels. You're Scorsese now? No, 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 not even close. I know we had Crazy Rich Asians, and there seems to be an investment in Hollywood towards that. And I think, I don't know if Asian Americans are the reason why uh, Hollywood is kind of shifting gears on that. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's China. Of course. 